So I figured it out. I can get a proposal rejected from Agnes, and here's how we're going to do it. First, since it's the middle of the night, we're going to go to a random lot because no one will come over in the middle of the night. They're always sleeping. We're going to go to a community lot, Studio PPB, and we're going to choose to bring Agnes Crumplebottom with us. And then we're going to choose another sim that I happen to know where they live, which is Carla Eternal Jr. Okay, and what this does is it brings us all to the lot because Carla does not know Agnes. So I need to introduce these two. Under Gossip, you can go to Other Sims and talk up another sim. And then hopefully these two will introduce themselves to each other. So we're going to talk up Agnes. Mm -hmm to Carla Jr. And then we're also going to try to get Agnes in the conversation so she doesn't leave. Okay, now it looks like Carla also knows Agnes. Hopefully they will know each other. And then I'm going to... Okay, unfortunately Agnes and I tried to work it out, but we are just two completely different people. Okay, and then Agnes would love to get to know Carla. I don't care if you guys don't like each other. I just need you to know each other. Okay, so then we're going to switch over to Carla Eternal Jr. Okay, now when I load in, I am playing Carla Eternal Jr. Agnes is here. She hates me. Uh, but at least we know her. And actually, that is a little bit of a problem if she hates me. I don't think I can add her on Social Bunny. No, I cannot. So I am going to have to try to get Agnes to at least like me a little bit. Okay, now she at least likes Carla Jr. a tiny bit, which means I will be able to add her on Social Bunny. And we're going to also add Carla Eternal, uh, the original. Okay, and then we just spam some messages so that we're max friends with both of these two. Okay, and... What I want to do now is I'm going to hook up Agnes with Carla. Under the friendly socials, there's gossip and there is other Sims hook up with. And I can try to hook them up. And since Agnes is doing the asking, then it has a chance to succeed. Now, Carla may also reject Agnes. That, that may happen. But let's see what happens. Oh, she accepted. Okay, so now these two should actually be girlfriends. And why am I inside? Okay, well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Agnes looks like she's gone. Okay. It uh, doesn't matter that we're kind of uh, not all in the same place now. But I can go home and ask Agnes to marry me now. Because Agnes is our girlfriend. Yeah, we're best friends from being uh, friends from childhood. And she's also our offspring because we turned her into a vampire at one point. But right now, she's not a vampire. So I don't know why that relationship doesn't go away. But we are girlfriend. Dating exclusively. A relationship? Um, yeah, we have a relationship with Agnes. So now we can propose to her. And we'll just go home and we're just taking Agnes with us. We're not taking Carla Eternal Jr. And here is Agnes and we have the ability to propose. So here goes my rejection. Agnes, will you marry me? Uh, no. 100% chance of rejection. Okay, and then she's going to swipe me with her handbag. Here she goes. Okay, that's the second time I've been crumple bottomed. And Carla is actually laughing at it. Oh, and then they hug. Okay, so Agnes is saying, I just want to be friends. I can't marry you. Okay, then we're going to break up with you, Agnes. Okay, I won't be mean to Agnes. I'm just going to say, let's be friends because I need to be single anyway. And looky here, we got proposal rejected. Okay, so that's that milestone taken care of. Now, another possibility I had considered was that I could add Agnes 
to my household and then control Agnes to do the asking. But you can't, at least not without cheats, because it never appears on the options to add her to the household, no matter how good your friendship. So you can't do it manually from Agnes. You have to do it through either neighborhood stories or the new hookup feature. So there are some ways around the uh, Agnes doesn't like anyone romantically. However, Agnes is not meant to be romantic with anyone because of her past. She's supposed to reject all romance and reject all advances, but you can get around it sort of with Social Bunny and you can also kind of get around it by uh, having other Sims hook you up with Agnes. But it's just you know, if anybody ever tries to actually have a relationship with her, just know that any direct romantic interactions you do with her, other than offering her a romantic gift, uh, because that for some reason also is something that is allowed, um, every single other interaction will fail, no matter what, no matter how good you are. It's just hard coded to fail. So that's why I never suggest that anyone try to use. Agnes in a story because she's just broken and she's broken on purpose. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to reach top level in all of the careers, earn all the, of the degrees, max all of the skills, complete all the aspirations, and do everything you can do for a single sim. Carla is actually working on her writing now because we're going to take a break from university. And I think I might actually quit her job as well. And what we'll do is we'll enter the writing career and try to get burnout. And the way that we're going to do that is do nothing but creative skills for um, a while and also join the writing career, I think at like level three or four. And she will work hard every day. And since she's low level in the career, she burns out quicker. Okay, we are a writer level four, and we have work on Monday, I think. It says work in two days, though. Why is it two days? Well, we'll just work on the writer's aspiration while we're doing this, so we need to write two books first. Okay, she must have writer's block. It's not telling me, though, because she's not tense. She can't get tense, but she cannot resume writing her book. So what I'm going to do is just practice writing until I can resume my book. Okay, it does say we have work in 24 hours, so we will be able to go to work at Monday at 9 a.m. Okay, apparently Kentucky is bugged. His age is a chick, but I'm pretty sure that's a rooster. Uh, I guess we'll be having Kentucky around for a very long time. It keeps giving me notifications that Snuggles is getting on in years, so unfortunately we may not have Snuggles for very much longer. Alright, I want to keep a copy of all of our books, so there is this create copy which costs money, but I can also just copy pasto, and you have to do that before you publish the book, or you won't get to keep a copy. We need some more magic experience anyway. It looks like someone got eaten by the cow plant. Who was it? Afu. And we're just publishing our books. Time to go to work. And she's already working hard. That's good. And she got promoted. I do not see any sort of burnout yet. Well, back to writing some books. We still need to publish two more books and write four more excellent ones. No, we're not hanging out with anyone else. Oh, I might have to change it so she doesn't like writing. Well, I don't know if that makes a difference, but I should probably change it so she neither likes nor dislikes writing because I don't want her to quit writing because she gets in such a bad mood, but I don't want her to enjoy it either. So let me go change that really quick just in case it's making her not burn out. All right, now we've published all the books we need to publish. We still need to write two more excellent ones. And we finished that milestone. All right, now we need to complete 
three bestsellers and earn 25,000 simoleons in royalties from publishing books. Well, I guess we should publish the rest of them just so we can get that out of the way. Oh, Carla's birthday. Whoops, I need to drink a potion of youth. I do not need to forget that. Oh, I think we're finally getting the creative fog. It takes so long, and I think turning off the likes writing helps, because as soon as I turn that off and she went to work, she gets the creative fog. Now, if you're high level in a career, you tend not to get that as much. So that's why I made sure that it was a career that she wasn't very high level in. So we're probably going to be able to burn out sometime today or tomorrow. Okay, unfortunately, we have to select a branch now because she's at that level. Hmm. Well, let's go with author, I suppose, just because it's the first one on the list. All right, she has her creative fog. Now I just need to write all of the time. She's not having any fun. That's good. All of the books I've been writing lately have been excellent. None of them are bestsellers. And I had several bestsellers before when I was working on the excellent books. Oh. I'm just happy that I'm actually working on burnout because otherwise I would be kind of pissed that I'm not completing this three bestsellers requirement, even though I've already written three bestsellers. I suppose it's because I am continuously writing books and I have no good material left, which kind of makes sense because she's also not having any fun and she has this creative fog dazed moodlet. But she's still in a very confident mood. She should get at least one bestseller out of the last five or six books, but no. Oh, it's the lottery. I definitely have to participate in that. Not that I really need the money. I just need the milestone. Oh, I wonder if the gardening is offsetting my creative fog a little bit. Because Buff did get down to 20 hours. And she has to feed the cow plant or milk it every once in a while. So I might have to let Bertha go, unfortunately. My creative fog is not increasing at work. That is not good. I might have to try the musician career. And my creative fog is gone. Great. I think the author branch is maybe considered a mental job, I guess. I thought with the invention of burnout that super sim would be harder. I did not realize that it would be hard for the super sim to get burned out. This is super annoying. Okay. This must be a mental skill. I'm going to go and remove all of her skill likes for creative things. And maybe we can do more than one creative thing and get burnt out. Okay, I'm also going to book a celebrity cleanse. Because maybe my celebrity status and abilities are making me always have a good day at work and get promoted too quickly. All right, so now I have no celebrity perks and I'm going to just leave it that way because I really do like the one where career is easy street, but it's just going to make things difficult. So I'm going to join the entertainer career and be a musician and hopefully that will get me to the point where I can get burned out. I also changed my club to be open invitation and I'm going to remove Carla and I made sure Caitlin and Christopher are in the club because I can make sure that this club stays around and then I can just rejoin it and take it over later. All right now I'm not in any club. I don't have any sort of celebrity perk affecting my career status. I do have the connections trait, which allows me to start the career like at level three. And I do have university degrees that probably make my level start out higher. But I just want to try this and see if I can actually get burned out, which is annoying. All right, let's try the entertainer career. Hopefully this is a creative career. Oh, and we don't go to work until tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eh, that's kind of annoying. 
and we're a level four. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I am part of a club that has connections. That wasn't what was making me start out at level four. So the very next promotion, I'm going to have to choose a branch and I'm going to choose the Jingle Jamber, which is you, which is a musician. Maybe what I'll also do is just switch back and forth between the writer career and the entertainer career. I don't know. It's just going to be really difficult. Okay, I also got rid of her workaholic lifestyle, so maybe that will help. I don't know. We're going to try to also get rid of a single and loving it lifestyle so that we don't have any work benefits. Okay, my plant sim plant is harvestable, so maybe I'll get the ranch hand to do that. And hopefully someone eats this cake. I can't do it because if I do, it resets my creative fog. I might lose my cow plant. Finally, I have a bestseller. It seems like the motivational book or any other book that causes an emotion is more likely to be a bestseller, at least for Carla. Well, we have writer's block, so we'll move on to the piano because we haven't done that skill yet. And hopefully, ooh, look at her skill just go up. She's like level two instantly. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to hopefully get creative fog. I just don't know how else we're going to do this unless we just go to work in order to get burnout. All right, and that is level 10 of the piano skill. Now for the pipe organ skill. Although she is getting emotionally mindful. I don't know if that will have an effect on it. And we maxed the pipe organ skill. So we still need to spend another 30 hours playing musical instruments for the musical genius aspiration. I'm not sure if we want to sit here and practice pipe organ for the rest of the time. Maybe until we go to work in nine hours. I guess we'll go back to writing if we can. And then if writing doesn't work... Uh, no, it doesn't work still. Okay, so basically she has writer's block and I can't tell when it's over. Maybe we should play an instrument, but what instrument should we do? Well, I'm just going to practice the violin because it fits in my pocket. Not a trace of any creative fog. That is so annoying. Well, time to go to work. And yes, the cow plant has died. Sorry, Bertha. Oh, I got a medium performance loss from a chance card. That's good. Maybe I won't get promoted today. Yeah, I can't get promoted today. That's actually a good thing. I still got promoted. All right. Well, we'll try the musician branch. We don't even have any creative fog. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what to do. I cannot get creative fog and I don't think mental fog would be any easier because she's actually a genius. So I don't know if it's possible to get burnout with her. Now, I did not purchase the professional slacker trait yet. It's the only reward trait I have not purchased from the store. And I did that on purpose. And the reason why I did that on purpose is because I knew that something like this may happen where I might want to get demoted in a career and I wouldn't have any way of getting demoted if I was a professional slacker. So what I could do is it looks like the writer career does provide some burnout, but only at low levels. What I could do is rejoin the writer career and not go until I was back to level one. Basically try and get myself demoted to level one and then try to work on this burnout thing again. It's just going to be a process. Maybe I'll do that in between parts because this is extremely annoying. At least my reputation is staying bad. I was worried that my reputation was just going to swing back to being uh, positive because I don't have any way right now to influence my reputation since I did the celebrity cleanse. So that's a good thing. 
However, this uh, trying to practice all day long every day is just not working. And maybe it's because of this controlled emotions thing. I don't know if that counteracts burnout. What counteracts burnout? It seems like even if I do creative things all day long every day, the burnout or the creative fog just does not stick to Carla. And it might also be because she has the idea person trait. But I don't know. It seems like she got the creative fog, but it just didn't turn into burnout. And the only way that I even get the creative fog is by going to work in a low level career. And she starts at level four in every career, which means she can only go to work once before it makes her choose a branch. And then once she chooses a branch, it seems like she can never get the creative fog again. So again, I'm going to switch back to the writer career and do nothing but practice writing all day, every day. And then maybe we will get back to level one and then s spend some time trying to build it back up to level four and see if I can get burnout. And then once I get that milestone, all I want is the milestone. And then we can just forget about it. No more burnout. She'll never get burnout again. Okay, it doesn't let me join except for the author. All right, so it's like I've already picked the um, branch for this one. So I may have already ruined that. Okay, maybe we should try a career where she's going to get mental burnout. I think the business career is that way we can try for the mental burnout instead all right and this time all i'm going to do is robotics so we will oh there, there's feed over here are you feeding the chickens finally are my chickens getting fed uh probably not that's another thing that's kind of annoying is that my chickens are not getting fed and I can't really take care of them because it actually gives her fun. And I'm thinking maybe that also might be interrupting her burnout. So I need to do nothing but mental skills now. And we've already got the plant sim thing. So what we might do is see if we can manifest as a plant sim. <laughs> Just because that's fun. Can you be both a spellcaster and a plant sim? Let's find out. Well, at least I can eat it. Let's see if I'm going to turn into a plant sim. Polino. No. <laughs> okay, so in order to do the plant sim oh. thing, I'm going to also oh. have to give up my spellcasterness. Okay, you just have to find one of the sages and ask for the right of disillusion. And maybe teleporting around is also giving me burnout reset. I don't know. But if you ask for the right of disillusion, you won't be able to become a spellcaster again until three days have gone by. And maybe it's one or two days. I don't remember. But anyway, you have to wait a while. You can't immediately become a spellcaster again. Okay, so we're going to eat the forbidden fruit of the plant sim for the second time. Yes, I had two of them. So, are you going to become a plant sim this time? Yes. And we've taken care of that. Alright, this is the way that I got the mental trait. So, I'm just going to spend all of my time working on robotics. And maybe we'll make that robotic arm finally. Um, I'm trying to multitask here because otherwise it's just going to be annoying if I do nothing but practice programming, practice writing, or practice music. And work isn't until Monday. Well, maybe we'll go through... Yeah, we're level four. So I think what I'm going to do is spend all of my time for an entire week doing nothing but robotics and I don't think that I will be recording that because it's just going to be her sitting here doing this and nothing else and she's not going to be a spellcaster she's just going to be doing this if anything happens maybe I'll share with you guys later it seems like unless I'm focused on getting burnout I'm not going to be able to get burnout 
So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.